more fun than I thought.
So these are off today. You want to pretend you're on a treadmill and you're having to dig the treadmill towards you. So you have to stomp, smash, and curl with each foot. That's what makes it effective. But uh, these are hamstring fryers. If you're a strong man, you should be doing these. Help you with moving events, medleys. If you're a power lifter, you should be doing these to help protect your hamstrings. All those little tiny muscles, they will get set on fire. Oh! All right, guys, that's Wednesday in a nutshell. Um, still in a dust storm. Man, I got here today. I don't know how many Easter times the people from the church have came and stolen things from my property uh, and burned it. It's a big uh, burning of Lazarus type thing, but you ain't burning Lazarus and until Easter gets here. Can't figure it out, but uh, apparently they came between Sunday and today and uh, stole one of my tires again. This is like the fourth or fifth time they've done that since I've been here. Uh, and rolled it down to the church down the street, lit it on fire. Um, I've got another tire out there that's uh, chained up. And I just, I tried to get the other tire, the one they stolen. Uh, I tried to get it set up and chained, but I couldn't get my foot to cooperate with me. I couldn't get it stood up and uh, locked into the chain, so I hit it put stuff all around it on top of it as best as I could and then uh, apparently they're just real bold and came out and moved everything took it and rolled it down the hill took it to the church and lit it up so I went down there today during a funeral and uh, walked around real pissed off and then uh, took photos and it won't stop them so they've still got the telephone poles out here I'm sure they will do their absolute best to steal probably will um, and I'm sure they're going to do their, they, they tried to grab my tires that I do the partial deadlifts with, but they are 265 pounds each with the metal rim in them. But uh, those have been moved. They're up on the veranda, I guess. I, I don't know why they didn't get them. So I'm sure they're going to come back and do the best they can with everything that they can. Just, yeah. You, you get robbed once and it's, it's crazy. You get robbed five or six times and uh, it's real disheartening I don't care who you are we paid money you know, we paid money for that we use it we train with it and then kids and I mean in their 20s come out and and just take it roll it down the hill to the church set on fire and the priest is there priest sees who did it priest watches priest won't tell anybody who did and I go you know we've gone and told the police before the police are like, we can write it down, we can go by and tell them, but if we say anything, we're in serious trouble. So, I don't know. But uh, that threw me off a little bit. Um, I got here, put cream on my back, sat in front of the heater to light that up. I already did an ice for 30 minutes on my back. Um, no ibuprofen today, none this week, just cortisone. Uh, so I let the heater get my back all nice and, and lit up and warm. Uh, box squats went up 5%. So that was only uh, 20, 33 pounds I went up for four sets of eight with the uh, buffalo bar, heavy bands, and average bands. Uh, next week I'll go to fives for uh, four sets of five. And then we'll see after that what, what I'm going to do. But um, those went well. The front squats, I know the front squats that I did are deceptional. I think that the ace briefs that I had on don't do me any favors on the front squats. Um, and they're definitely old and they were looser than the M-type briefs that I wore last week. By at least a full size. So I don't know really what I, what I got out of those other than just some warmth. I got some pop, some protection, absolutely. Um, but on the front squats, they didn't help me. What I'm trying to do on the front squats is... Uh, create a very upright body. So instead of front squatting in whatever front squat position that 
that I want to front squat in, I try to basically get rid of all of my pelvic tilt and, and push my abs in and make everything flat. So it definitely made the squat harder, um, kind of stacked my, my abs more than my spine. Uh, stacked my abs more than my hips and I'm used to front squatting with the weight sitting on my hips uh, and that's a big plus for me but it's 325 for I think an easy single um, no bands or chains this week but then I went over to the deadlifts and I really wanted to do something similar to a buddy of mine I really wanted to pull against something that would be around heavy bands uh, as well as I have a female client that's about to pull 600 pounds plus last week she pulled a really she pulled a really solid 585, like 266 in kilos. Um, a belt, no suit and no straps, no hitch. So she's going to pull 600 plus pretty soon. Um, so I had a buddy of mine that had pulled against heavy bands that looked crazy. So I wanted to pull something that was against some heavy band-ish type tension. So I calculated out what that would be and I decided that that was going to be light bands monster mini and mini bands across every tension chart that i could find that combination no matter what the stretch basically equaled a pair of heavy bands uh, and then i wanted to pull something that was over 600. so um my warm-up sets felt a little off the two plates felt a, uh, felt a little off three plates felt so so and then i got my mind right for the four plates which i think is 436. So if I count the bands as 200 pounds, it's probably a little more. Uh, that puts me at, you know, let's say 635 at the top. And I think it was pretty smooth. So I came off the ground really well. Um, this suit is not tight. And it's, it's a little more elastic than that orange jack suit that I have. A little more, a little more give to it. So it allows me to kind of hit my position a little more than it does the suit's position. Probably not what you want if you want to get the most out of your suit, uh, but probably what you want if you're dealing with injuries and you don't want the suit putting you in any kind of position that is not your best current position. I hope that makes sense. Uh, so that was a big pull for me. That was nice. It took a ton of weight just to hold uh, the bands down. I mean, I had uh, 50 pound dumbbells. Uh, a pair, I had a pair of 50 pound dumbbells. I had a 60 pound axle, a 40 pound axle, and two 55 pound farmers, as well as 140 pounds of chain. Um, and as I began removing any piece of that, it began picking everything up off the ground. So um, it was some pretty decent band tension at the top. It got wild at the top. Uh, and then I finished off with the, uh, uh, the hamstring treadmills, hamstring treadmill walks. And I'm still on fire from those. So I'm going to go home and uh, maybe do some curls for the girls with my son and do some abs tonight. And maybe get on the rower, a little bit of work. It's Wednesday night, so we're going to chill a little bit. Be back on Friday, guys. Hoping for a good one on Friday. I have a pretty decent plan. I have a pretty decent plan, so let's see if I can execute. See you on Friday, guys. See you on Friday.